So I hear that Kirk Cousins is on a Netflix series. Apparently Netflix is no longer an entertainment outfit. Um, we're gonna watch this Kirk Cousins Netflix series, at least as much of it as I can take. And maybe my opinion of him will completely change. Episode one, The Quest. What, wasn't that Prince's old nightclub? Is that his house? Pretty lame looking house. Big book of why, exactly. Why Kirk Cousins? Why are you here? So he just reads football, like basic football. He just reads about himself to his kids. Like you could read like Books of Knowledge, Dr. Seuss. No, I'm gonna read about quarterbacks, cause I'm a quarterback. Wait, Marcus Mariota, they're pro, he's one of the, like I thought Kirk Cousins was uninteresting. Now, Mar Marcus Mariota, is he even in the NFL? Oh, that's good language there. I'm trying to skip ahead to Kirk Cousins here, cause this Mahomes stuff is too interesting. Difference between halo and sombrero. Let's make our, our play signals as close together as possible so they can be confused. Doesn't matter, he's gonna check down whether it's halo or sombrero anyway. Nice hair. Kirk has yet to even come close to a Super Bowl. Sure. He basically just said, I'm Jesus, right? He's basically saying, if I was walking on water, they'd say I can't swim. You're not walking on water, Kirk. Checking down on freaking fourth and eight. That's walking on water, you freaking loser. So I read people watch this and they started to really like him more. If I walk on water, they'll say I can't swim. This is what this loser Quotes. So much of it is narratives, which about Kirk are false narratives. Is this guy, could this guy say any less? Could this guy be more of a middle management type loser, this Kevin O'Connell guy? It's all narratives. Showing up small in every big game. Justin Jefferson could not be less interested in what Kirk Cousins is saying. Oh, you dork. I'm gonna go L.L. Bean. Could he look more like a pedophile? It's not R.E.I., it's a B.T.K. My wife dresses me. Well, we have one thing in common. In addition to being pathetic. It looks like my closet. Julie. You know, get him a shirt that that like it has a head cover, so we don't have to look at his face. She seems nice. I like her. Can we just? Make her the focus of this episode. I'd rather. She seems like like a nice lady. Sam's Club, not Costco. Okay, there you go, losers. I mean, look at that living room. It's like you make twenty five million. You don't even have a place to put your TV. It's like. I'm a van guy. I'm a van guy. Yep. Yeah, George Costanza dating his cousin in that Seinfeld episode. That's Kirk Cousins. Yeah. 
Was this Monday night? Was this Monday night by chance? On the road? After week one, when Green Bay just didn't show up, I thought we were the best team in the league and I just had a false sense of security. You are a perfect Viking, Kirk Cousins, you idiot. You think you can just go in and coast against the Eagles on Monday night because you beat the Packers week one when they didn't show up. So now we're on to Marcus Mariota and we are... I think I'm about halfway through, ep not even halfway through episode one, and there are like eight episodes. Did people actually sit through this? How? An eight episode series on Kirk Cousins and Marcus Mariota. If you watch this whole thing, you got to take a look at yourself. There's something wrong. I see Marcus Mariota's pregnant wife's belly covered in gel. Maybe she has like Okay. I don't I've seen worse things, but it's just something I don't really need to see. Well, I'm not watching all this. I have better things to do. Well actually I don't, although my, my new wife wants me to do something. Um, so she can have a, a baby. Um, now, Marcus Mariota talking about his how many girl cousins he has. This is, I guess they just want cousins, whether it's Kirk Cousins or Marcus Mariota's cousins. It's all about cousins. People sit and watch this. I'm going to kill myself with a Vegematic before I watch more of this. 